everybody, welcome back to Topless Baker. Now this week I've got a shorter video for you that's a little bit of a hack. And it's probably so cool it should be in Fancy AF, but we're not gonna put it in Fancy AF. And it's a sugar dome dessert nest thing, okay? And basically all you do is you melt some sugar. And that's all you need for this, okay? And I'm gonna put it into this round bowl. It's such a cake tin, but you could also use a bowl too. And basically you drizzle the caramel all over this and then when you pull it out, you're left with this incredible nest which can be used as a cup or you can use it as a dome on top of the dessert. But it's just a really quick video to show you how to make something that's really impressive. So, I'm gonna take some sugar. Doesn't matter how much sugar you've got. Literally, the more sugar, the more caramel. You don't need loads though. And I'm gonna put it into a shallow frying pan, okay? I'm gonna put this on kind of a medium low heat. I'm gonna shake this around so it's kind of evenly covered. Da, da, da. And then literally it takes about three or four minutes to melt. But what you don't wanna do, put that down. Don't stir it, okay? Leave it and let it do its thing. If it needs to get around the edges, just give it a little bit of a shake, okay? But don't stir it, okay? And I'll just keep watching it and we're looking for it to turn into a nice caramel color. So literally after two minutes, you can see it's already kind of starting to melt. It almost looks like a donut. And literally all I'm doing is just shaking the pan to make sure it's all evenly melting and coating. Because if you start stirring it with spoons and everything like that, what's gonna happen is the sugar's gonna crystallize, and it's gonna lump up and it's gonna go all solid, which you don't want. So just shake it about, don't stir. Okay, so this is all melted now and look what you're left with, this kind of runny, glorious caramel, okay? Now what you wanna do once you've melted is at the moment, that's a little bit too runny, okay? And if we pour that onto our dome, it's just not gonna work. So what you wanna do for about 15, 20 seconds is just spoon it up and down. Spoon it. And what you're looking to do is basically cool it and you're just gonna allow it to thicken a little bit, okay? Now, if it gets too hard and it starts to solidify, don't panic. Just put it back on the heat. You can always remelt the sugar, okay? So, this looks pretty good to me. It's holding its shape a little bit as I kind of pull it up and down. And what I'm gonna do now is drizzle it into my bowl, which I've lined with vegetable oil, which is very important because otherwise it will stick, okay? So take your caramel and literally drizzle this over the top. And you're just gonna create this thick nest, okay? And you wanna cover the edges. You wanna get this guy all over there. And then once you're done drizzling, you're left with this thing, which looks a little bit messy, but we're gonna pull it out into like a nest. That needs to cool for about a minute, two minutes. We're gonna let it do its thing, come back, peel it out, and we are done. Pow, 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 one minute later. Time has gone so fast. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully peel this out. And you'll hear it kind of crack a little bit. Yeah, that's what you want. And then literally, lift that out and look at what you are left with that is incredible now i don't have any like brownies or ice cream with me but this is what you're going to do okay so you put down your brownies and your ice cream you've got to use your imagination with me okay imagine there's a glorious dessert here and then you take this and you just pop it over the top like that okay and what you're left with is just such an impressive cage to top your dessert with. And what you can do as well, this is how you serve it, okay? You go like this, you present that down, and then you go, pow! And you crack it into what is an amazing looking thing. And then you're left with your dessert. So that was the hat, guys, and all it takes is a little bit of sugar and a pan with some vegetable on it, okay? So I hope you enjoyed it. Show it off to your friends and your family. A very impressive hack. We'll see you next week. Bye!